All right, guys, today we are actually trialing the electric power head on the uh, Frontier 12. I know it needs to go down a little bit more, so I'm actually going to push it in the back here momentarily, but uh, just getting a little runtime on the Honda. Again, we took an Echo power head and uh, spliced it into one of my legs. Same setup, put the cross receiver in that I commonly use for stabilizers. Hey dude, we're good to go. So I just need to drop that leg down and lower the mount and that's pretty much it, done. So we're cruising right now. I'm gonna give it some gas, get a little run on this so you guys can hear it rev up. It's all controlled with the tiller. This one is actually locked straight, but I'm actually gonna throw a tiller on that. So we'll see what happens here. So let's give it some gas and take off. We are cruising in the canals in South Florida. So I'm going to give it some gas. You can see we got a kind of 1.3 Honda pushing this for about 60% throttle. So once I get under this bridge, I'll give it some more gas. Again, we're on a Frontier 12, so it's not exactly a light boat, two blade prop. And we got another electric motor on the front dragon, so okay, it sounds real healthy. All right, we're going to open it up. You can see we're throwing away. I mean, I could put the 2.2 on here. I just don't see the reason why. More fuel. We're doing about 80% throttle right now. with drag. Okay guys, another quick uh, start up on the GX35. Slow wind up. All right, guys, well, here's my Echo 56 volt trimmer head attached to it. It was originally on the front of my Frontier as a pusher, but uh, it wasn't sitting low enough in the water because I had to bring the bracket down. But I put, I put this on there with my uh, tiller handle and my trigger shifter. I took it off and just kind of let it sit there. I can't believe how well this thing works. This is crazy. So I'm going to run this thing until the battery dies and see how long it lasts and uh, get some speed numbers on this thing. But yeah, you, for all you guys who said it couldn't be done, well, it's done, and it works. So we're gonna run around and get some live video here in a minute, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, cool. All right, guys, finally got everything worked out here. We're about 80% on the electric throttle here. Once you get to a certain uh, speed, it has a rev limiter on it. Down a little bit. I mean, we're cruising. Look at this. We got 
one out of this with the geared lower unit. I, I just can't believe this, man. Probably got about 20 minutes on the battery among all my screw ups here. This is not like gasoline, it's a little bit different. And it's definitely not like a trolling motor. This is totally different. It's because of the geared lower unit. So I'm going to turn around and go the opposite direction so you guys can see the pickup in the same. Alright, guys, this is going to be pretty much from the wall. Out into the canal, it's like getting way too close here. Yeah, you can hear the high RPM limit on it. This is going into current, man. Let me tell you, I was getting swept away a moment ago. Definitely gonna work on the trigger system on this. I'm doing like a triangle steer on it. With my feet. I don't know, maybe a foot accelerator too. I don't know. All the noise is cool. I mean, look at this, guys. How awesome is that? Five point, about five point nine. You take it right off the rev a little bit, and we probably been running this motor for about a half an hour. So I'll check the battery. Let me just to see how long this thing lasts. Anyway, you guys get the drift on it. See me holding it. So we're back at the launch site. Here's the Echo 58 volts. It is totally different. Um, I wouldn't use it to run miles and miles and miles. Although, we're about half on the, uh, the voltage. I think it's about half. Let's look. Yeah, it's about half. And we've been running, or I've been running, I don't know, continuously, 35 minutes, 40 minutes. But as a pusher motor, when you want to get into some spots because you don't feel like paddling, this thing does, you know, again, five miles an hour on a four amp hour battery. You've seen I've had to kind of move things around to make it work. I wasn't planning to put it on the back. It's a pusher in the front, but um, it's not low enough. So it gets perfect for the kayak, and it actually worked quite well. Way torquey. I like the electric brake on the prop. It's kind of cool. Um, but this thing's got balls, I mean, to put it plainly. It won't give me longevity like the gas, but it definitely, as a pusher to go on the front, fantastic. I mean, you cannot ask for a better combo. And again, I've had to kind of rig that, but for someone that says you can't put a trimmer head on it, well, I disagree. I will have to change out the throttle system. That needs to be in a box with dials and switches, which I will do next, but, uh, Man, what a fantastic run on this. Again, did that go 58 volt? Hooked right up. No issues with it fitting, no issues with anything, technically. So, it's working for it quite well. I think a couple things I'd change, but there you go, guys. Echo 58 volt on top of a Kayak Buddy lower leg. 